more rumors about Call of Duty Black Ops 5, more rumors on Silent Hill Reboot, and we have more release dates on the upcoming games. Welcome to Top Gaming News and today we are going to talk about some rumors and some more exciting gaming news coming right up. I've talked in previous gaming news video that Call of Duty is bringing Black Ops with a soft reboot version of Black Ops, which will be based on Cold War and some people even trying to name it as Call of Duty Vietnam. And now seems like more rumors are saying that Black Ops will be a soft reboot which will be based on Cold War. Okami, a Call of Duty leaker who has previously leaked about Warzone being a thing before Warzone was even announced. And look at that, that leak was 100% true and the same guy is now saying that Call of Duty will have a new Black Ops game which will be a soft reboot to Black Ops and based on Cold War. Now the way he says that is by posting an image of Black Ops original cover art with a name written Cold War. Now of course that's not the original poster but he might be sending a message saying that Cold War will be the new Black Ops game. Since his previous leak was 100% true, people do believe that this is also true. Not only that, previous leak have also suggested that Call of Duty had planned that Black Ops will be the next game after 2019's Modern Warfare. It was reported that Triarch was supposed to work on Black Ops 5, which previously was being worked upon by Sledgehammer Games and Raven Games. But because those two companies have some kind of issues between them, the lead was given to Triarch to continue with Black Ops 5. And it seems like Triarch will be taking what Raven and Sledgehammer have worked upon and include that in the Black Ops 5 project. According to Kotaku, some people in the company are not happy that Black Ops will be the next game because those people have to work even more longer time since they were working overtime for Black Ops 4 to be released and they don't want that happening for Black Ops 5. Well, what do you think about Black Ops 5? Are you guys interested in another Black Ops game? But apparently, this was not the only thing that Call of Duty is bringing because very recently a video shows that Captain Price might be coming to Warzone. Call of Duty's official channel has a video that shows a transmission between what I think is Khaled Al Assad and someone else that we're talking about an image which definitely in no shape or form looks like Captain Price. Now this could very well mean that Captain Price is coming as an operator in Call of Duty and this could definitely take a leap towards season 4. And if this does happen, it's gonna be very interesting to see how the story progresses through Warzone. Since in season 3 we had bunkers that nobody was able to open and now people are able to open marks the fact that season 4 is coming very soon and we will have a bomb of a story as Warzone progresses. Valorant finally is releasing on June 2nd and the beta will be closing on May 28th. Not only that, the game will be releasing for free for every single person. Now this is a really great move to build up the player base of Valorant since it's very much compared to CSGO even though it's not very close to CSGO in any way possible but still that is the game that everybody compares to. Now Riot will be resetting every single account after May 28th so that everybody starts off fresh which is amazing. And not only that they're adding a new mode, a new agent and also a new map. They're also planning to have dedicated servers to different regions and we can only hope that India is one of them which might be possible in 5-10 to 10 years, but I hope that comes sooner. Now it has also been told that this new mode is going to be in beta version in the game because this mode has not been tested. So they want to get feedback from players when they play this new mode so that they can make it official that this mode exists without any flaws. And no, it's not Team Deathmatch. That's what she said. Now the biggest thing that Valorant is being criticized of is that Vanguard anti-cheat system because apparently it installs a kernel mode driver at the core of your operating system. Now it is meant to stop aimboarding, wall hacking and cheating but it is also so strict that it somehow blocks some unrelated programs even when Valorant is not running up. But Riot has said that this is not their plan and Vanguard is only there to save their game from these hackers and if at any point in time Vanguard does something shady, they will just completely remove the system. How many of you guys are going to play Valorant from June 2nd? Let me know in the comments below. Are you guys excited that you have to play for free and don't have to wait to watch the entire Twitch stream to get a Valorant drop? Yeah, life is becoming easier, right? More than two years ago, Sea of Thieves came to Microsoft Store and a lot of people started playing this game because they wanted to play this pirate-based game which Sea of Thieves was bringing. And in my opinion, the last good-looking pirate game was Assassin's Creed Black Flag. 
even though you were an assassin but there were some elements of pirates. Now the game is finally coming to Steam and it has a release date of June 3rd. This is a great move because this can only increase the player base of Sea of Thieves since people want a pirate based game but they didn't want to play it through Microsoft Store or Xbox Game Pass. Which I am doing that currently and I have to say Xbox Game Pass can be a little bit difficult at some times. Now in order to play this game you do need an Xbox Live account so you have to create an Xbox Live account and play the game. Now here's the thing, if someone wants to play the game through Steam and not through Microsoft Store, then you have to buy the game again on Steam. But the good thing is that all your achievements and all your progression will be in the game because you're logging in with your same Xbox Live account. Now Sea of Thieves is a fun sailing game that you should be playing with your friends where you complete different missions, sail to different islands, pick up lots of loots and sell them and gain money and also fight against different ships, which is much more fun when you're playing with someone else and not playing alone because when you start playing it for the first time, you will definitely lose. Speaking of games that is coming to Steam, we have a classic coming that is Serious Sam 4 and I for one am hella excited. Serious Sam is just one of those games where you have so many monsters coming right at you and all you have to do is shoot them. Back in the day, I was very scared of that one monster which didn't have his head and was running and screaming at you when he was running towards you. <coughs> Yeah, that scared me a lot. I don't know why, but that did scare me a lot. Now, some people do consider this as a cheap version of Doom game, but this is so much more than that. This time, they're trying to add a lot more monsters in the same scenes. Apparently, you can see in the trailer, there are hordes of them. They're also introducing lots of guns for you to enjoy. This is gonna be fun. I'm so happy that the game is coming back and it's coming on August this year, so I cannot wait to see how this game plays when it comes out. There is one game that people have been talking about for a long time and that is Silent Hill game. And a lot of people are saying that Silent Hill is coming back with a new game. But Konami has denied that in the past but it seems like more rumors are surfacing stating that Silent Hill is going to be a reboot. Now this rumor comes out from a very reputed and prominent insider named Duke Golem who has talked about this new Silent Hill game being a reboot. According to the leak, they are 100% sure that Konami pitched ideas for Silent Hill reboot on 2018 and they wanted that game to be an episodic version of Silent Hill. The insider now says that the game is developed by SIE Japan, an internal PlayStation studio in Japan. Now there are more details such as Kaichiro Tomaya, who is the original creator of Silent Hill games, coming back as the creative director of this new Silent Hill games. And also the original composer and the original artist are also coming back to the game. Now these are not 100% sure but Duke believes that some of it is true. Now one thing that the leaker does clarify is that this game is not going to be a resurrection of Hideo Kojima's Silent Hill PT which apparently was in the plans but then was scrapped out which I have no idea why they did that. Now the reason why Silent Hill is having a reboot is because Sony won more player base for the game but here's the thing they are not going to buy the IP for it. Moreover, the leaker has also said that the game demo is ready to go the moment they will reveal the new Silent Hill game. Now all of this info are subject to change because this is not confirmed news. But since there are a lot more rumors surrounding around Silent Hill reboot, we might as well get a reboot of Silent Hill games. Have you guys played any Silent Hill games in the past? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Well speaking of updates, Fallout 76 seasons will be completely free for everyone, these seasons will be summer, fall and winter. Fallout 76 rolled out Wastelanders which was one of the biggest updates to Fallout 76 and a lot of people are having fun with it but still even after this update, the game has its flaws. Another game that might be bringing something free to Steam is Grounded which will be bringing a free demo to Steam store page for everybody to play. Now this will be a part of Steam Game Festival and the demo will be out on June 9th. Grounded will be a survival game but this demo will be single player so you won't be able to bring in your friends to play this game because this demo is more designed for people who want to test out how this game is or whether they want to buy this game after playing the demo. Now this is something that should be done with every single game to push out a demo so that everybody get to know how the game is and whether they want to play this game or more importantly whether this game can run in their own systems. 
Now the game will be released on July 29th as an early access which means the developers will be able to take feedback from the players to work on the game which is another amazing way to do it but I hope that they do release like a full version of it and don't keep this game in early access for 10,000 years. The best example is Daisy. Well we talked about Call of Duty rumors, Silent Hill rumors and more exciting game releases and much more and it looks like we are just getting started. So this seems to be the best place to know everything about gaming. So do subscribe to our channel to get to see every single video that is being posted every single week and also hit that notification bell icon so that you get the notification when a new video comes out. Hope you like this video, smash that like button and also comment down below what are you most excited about. You can also follow us on all social media platforms and also we have Gamer Connect community on Facebook where you can join, talk, discuss and play games with a lot of people. I am Given Madness and I'll see you guys later.